nice solid knife. Blade goes all the way through the handle, etc. etc. Comes in this nice leather sheath, does the job, excellent, perfect for what I need it to do. Then also, doesn't fit in the pocket like this, but again, this will go onto my belt along with that, so I've got it to hand all the time, but I can't just go bowling through my local streets with that on because I'm going to call the police. Uh, that's the fire steel that comes with it. Didn't really want to use it because it's quite nice, but then I thought it's going to last for a long time in it, so whatever. And then got some tissues in here, cleaning your hands, going to the toilet, etc. Could be used as kindling if you really have two tinder or whatever. Um, just a load of 250 paracord because this is the one I can get hold of. Obviously, multiple uses, you'll know about paracord. Uh, Petzl E light, that's the only torch I take with me. I try not to use a torch at night, I try to get my eyes in night vision mode if I possibly can and just use the light for my fire because this attracts a bit of attention to that torch but you know you do obviously need a torch to you drop something on the ground or whatever you need to find things or if you've got a book with you you're reading but then I'll just put it on the red setting this is this Petzl wheel light's got a red setting on it which is good um, then there's my survival kit which again really if I was walking a long way I'd put that in my cargo pocket of my trousers or whatever some you know or on my belt it should be on your belt all the time really but I'm not enough not a lot's gonna happen to me where I can't be found walking to my local woods so just keep that in the bag that's got a lot of things I've gone through this before. Um right so that's them two pockets. Then in the final pocket I just keep bits of food which I won't bother going through it's not very interesting. Tin of tuna, some super noodles, chocolate bar, bag of crisps, not the healthiest options but I'm not really a massive health freak although I like to stay fairly healthy but you know if you want to put a stick of celery in there you can. Uh, so that's it now I'll go through this cooking kit, fire kit and first aid kit. I'll move all this stuff out of the way. Obviously I've got a nice water purifying kit that I take about that's got a mill bank bag in it uh, purifying tabs big water carrier but like I say there is no where I'm going tomorrow night with this there is no water so um, no point in taking it really that's why I've got to take two litres in myself and I'll probably have another bottle on a little pouch I've got that I'll just hang around my shoulder that will I'll drink on the way there and sort of use as drinking water because you need to take water to put your fires out with if you've got to and clean your cooking kit you see it's difficult when you don't have water in your woods but I'm sure a lot of you have the same problem so you know what I mean but um, yeah anyway I'll clear all this out of the way now and go through these one at a time also normally in the winter I take my axe and because you need more wood now at the minute there's so much dry wood laying about you don't really need your axe but um, obviously an axe is always handy but it just doesn't fit into this bag too well I can fit it in there if I really need to but I'm fine just with uh, my saw and my knife for battening. Right. Right. This is my cook kit. Um, I sort of I've got a uh, gas stove and stuff. If I'm if I go a bit further to Wales or something like that, Scotland or whatever, Ebor National Parks in England, a nice big area where you can go for a few days. I'll probably take my gas stove as well, just for lunch and breakfast if you don't want to really like the fire and stuff but when I go to the woods I just like to mainly rely on my fire if I can to cook all my food and stuff in. I've got a little hobo type so thing in here as well as you'll see. But yeah so this is just a billy can picked up in Sri Lanka actually earlier this year for next to nothing. It's, but I did get some off of eBay but this one seems to be a bit better. It stays level when it's hanging which is good, it's just nice and compact for one person, it's perfect. Um, right, so this is the fuel for the hobo stove, which you can obviously also put wood in, I'll show you in a second, but that's just some cheap hexy blocks. Perfect, which again, I don't really like to use if I can help it. And then inside, I've got a folding spork, which has just recently replaced my light my fire plastic one because one of the teeth broke off of it 
and that's a lot more compact. I mean, it's a bit heavier than the like my fire plastic one, but it's not really going to make so much difference, especially in the, just a little walk to the local woods. Then next, I've got coffee, tea, two sugars. Don't like really going to this place, but they do good um, condiments. No, it's not a condiment, it's a freshen up wipe thing which is, comes in handy. Fruit tea, uh, another KFC thing. Inside here, got a sponge for cleaning this because obviously this is all I use. I don't even take a cup with me, so I drink my tea out of this, then it has to be washed up, then I drink. You know, if I've got enough room, I'll take a cup, but that is a cup, really, isn't it? So, does the job. Then inside a bag just to keep it away from what I'm going to be cooking in. Got my little hobo stove, stove with some washing up liquid. Bit of a big container, but it's all I had at the time when I put my washing up liquid in. And now I just keep it in there because I don't really want to put anything else like milk or anything after it's had washing, that much washing up liquid in it. Um, some hand sanitizer. Obvious what that's for. I've heard other people on YouTube say you can use this as uh, to start fires with, but I've, this particular one doesn't seem to light too well. So this is my hobo stove, obviously. A couple of them, about three of them blocks, and you can boil half of this, or like for what I've got, super noodles, stuff like that, for your dinner. Um, two of them will do enough for a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and then or you just get it going with them or get it going with whatever and just feed wood in there whatever you want to do but like I say this is just an emergency backup that's really lightweight this and this don't weigh anything and don't take up too much room it all slots in there nicely um, so I don't use this unless I really have to like I say first thing in the morning if you don't want to relight your fire because you're leaving your site and you will clean your fire up when you leave so nobody else has to see your big horrible fire pits you can just have a quick little brew or whatever you want to call it in the morning with that next in this old zippo box just got a few things to spice your meal up with again KFC and the other horrible big American corporation McDonald's salt and peppers but do come in handy uh, some sugars soya sauce for my noodles, Tabasco, Chinese five spices. Just makes your dinner a little bit more exciting as I'm sure a lot of you know. And then in here I've got tampon for fire this is all for fire lighting again obviously. Tampon, a couple of hexi blocks, you all know about the tampon. I said about that in my survival kit if not, but there's a few other people on YouTube that use it as well. It's just really handy, compact way of carrying cotton wool. In here, two strips of birch bark that I've dried out at home. Next, I've got some rubber inner tube, which will light whenever. Use this all year round. I don't like to use it unless I really have to, because it gives off a bit of a nasty smell, but it's emergency fire lighting. So this is green heat, which is quite expensive, so I use that sparingly. But in the winter, that will get a fire going. As long as you get really small twigs, even if they're damp or wet, as long as they're not rotten off the floor, you go around picking the dead stand and stuff, this will light you a fire of damp wood. Then I've got a lighter, gas lighter, which matches, which obviously you could light the rubber with that, but like I say, I like to have a lot of... Uh, things just in case for my fire. Waterproof matches these, I, I've got a pack of four for about two quid from Millets. Um, and then just in this little old, what come in this? I think this was some old water purifying tablets are in this, but I've just stuffed it with cotton wool that's been soaked in petroleum jelly, Vaseline. Just soak this cotton wool in Vaseline shove it in this case. I mean, like I say, again, you could just go out with that in your pocket and, you, you know, you, unless you're, um, you don't know what you're doing, you can get a fire with that, you can get a fire with all these, but I like to just have